Good morning, dear students. In continuation of VTU e section lectures, today I shall discuss the last module of uh, uh, Diploma MAT 301. The topic is differential equations and its applications. As all of you know, this is uh, associated with the basics of differentiation and basics of integration. Put together, we will uh, study the construction of differential equation and solution of differential equation. You remember that differential equation plays a major role in the engineering field irrespective of the discipline. Maybe it is a civil engineering, maybe it is some mechanical engineering, electronics engineering, chemical engineering, uh, etcetera. For all the branches, differential equations is most fundamental topic which is associated with most of the problems which are related to the flow of the current, flow of the fluid, flow of the temperature. Uh, through the network, whatever the design is going to be proposed. In all these cases, even in the case of vibrations, <coughs> vibrations especially in the case of uh, oscillations, so differential equations plays a major role. Yes, under this heading, uh, today I shall discuss the first topic. Differential equation is a vast area, but there are two types of differential equations. One is ordinary differential equations and another one is partial differential equations. <clears throat> but today the entire discussion for the next uh, uh, four uh, lectures, it will be linking with only the ordinary differential equations and how this differential equation is to be formed and how this differential e equation is to be solved and where do we come across and what we do with this branch of mathematics. Of course, this is uh, one among the very important topics because easily we can categorize uh, three to four topics in engineering as mathematics applications basically. basically, The first one is calculus which includes both uh, differential and integral and later the extension is differential equations, later the extension is ordinary and partial, later the extension is solution, later the extension is nothing but what kind of solution we are going to propose. Whether the solution is possible through uh, analytical method or the solution is possible through numerical method. Like this, we will discuss the applications of differential equations. For example, if you take the civil engineering uh, problem, it is a, a, a proposed uh, uh, design for the beam which can carry certain load of the roof, then that is uh, uh, related to the partial derivatives where those derivatives will explain the meaning of stresses and strains. So, what the load is going to be laid over that beam, according to that the, uh, the differential coefficients will be explained. So, in connection with all these applications, uh, we shall start the basics of differential equation. As a reminder, let me explain what is the meaning of differential equation and how to form a differential equation <coughs> and how to solve the differential equation. First of all, let me share uh, the contents of this topic with all of you and uh, listen whatever the first topic I am going to write according to your syllabus. <coughs> every topic I will go according to the uh, uh, order of the solution methods and order of the calculation steps. this is differential equations. <coughs> Under this heading, as per the syllabus, formation of differential equations uh, perhaps already you have studied and the syllabus includes the next part of it. That means, when the differential equation is appeared, then how to solve these differential equations by various methods. The first method is uh, actually here solution of differential equation. Here method of <coughs> separation of variables. I shall explain everyone in detail as per the syllabus. This is the first method. Next is homogeneous 
that means here first order with first degree I am sure that you are familiar with uh, what is the meaning of the order and what is the meaning of the degree with the differential equation. This is method of separation of variables. Next is homogeneous differential equation. Next is reducible to homogeneous Next is exact differential equation. Next is reducible to exact. Next is Bernoulli's uh, that is linear differential equation. Next is Bernoulli's differential equation. This is called nonlinear. Bernoulli's will be nonlinear, it will be reduced to the linear form. Each method you understand in depth, whatever the steps I am going to give in each method, how the differential equation, the nature will be appear, and how you have to reset, and how you have to separate the variables and then keep ready for the solution. And homogeneous, of course, this word itself takes the meaning. Homogeneous means degrees are same throughout the equation. And how to solve this homogeneous differential equation? If it is not homogeneous, then it will be reduced to the homogeneous differential equation. Then exact differential equation meaning is what? And how to reduce if it is not exact, if it is not separation of variables, if it is not homogeneous, if it is not this kind, if it is not this, then we will switch over to the next one. If it is not an exact differential equation, how to reduce it? And then you have to solve. And uh, ultimately, the most important technique is that is linear uh, differential equation and Bernoulli's differential equation. That is linear differential equation and uh, reducible to linear differential equation from the nonlinear form. So these two will constitute that meaning. And these two cons will constitute one type, and these two will constitute one type. But this is a separate, and this is the most fundamental method of solving the differential equation. Okay. First of all, uh, before I proceed to uh, start the first method, that is separation of variables. How much you understood about the differential equation? What is the order of the differential equation? What is the degree of the differential equation? and what, how to form a differential equation and how to solve. This is our job. From the mathematics point of view, first we have to understand what is the meaning of differential equation, how it is formed from any equation. Now, I shall start with a simple example to form a differential equation. It is like this. <laughs> I can quote this as uh, preliminaries. Preliminaries means prerequisites to understand the meaning of differential equation. Now, definition. Differential equation is one which contains differential coefficients. Differential coefficients. Now, there are two types of differential equations. First one, ordinary differential equation ordinary differential equation. In short form, we call this one as ODE. 
and another one partial differential equation. In short form, we call this one as PDE. I am sure in your syllabus both are there, ordinary differential equation and partial differential equation. But uh, first of all, the uh, last part includes the ordinary differential equation contents. Let me finish all the discussions which are related to the ordinary differential equations solutions and then I will move on to uh, some uh, small uh, discussion in the partial differential equations as per your syllabus. Now, what is the meaning of ordinary differential equation? That means example that is dy by dx otherwise d square y divided by dx square plus 2x dy by dx plus e to the power x is equal to sin x. This is only a simple uh, ordinary example where you can think of this is why this is called as ordinary differential equation. Uh, I shall explain by taking uh, the construction of differential equation and for this partial differential equation that is del square u divided by del x square plus del square u divided by del x del y that is multiplied by 2 or 3 or something like that. Then del square u divided by del y square plus phi e to the power x that is del u by del x is equal to cos x like this. Any example you can quote, but differential coefficients are responsible for, this is responsible for d by dx and this is named as capital D and this is responsible for daba divided by daba x like daba divided by daba x or daba divided by daba y. What is the uh, clear difference? In the whole universe of this calculus part, you will notice only these two types of uh, uh, differential coefficients. One is ordinary derivative and the other one is partial derivative. This is responsible for function of single independent variable, function of single independent variable. That means single independent variable means y is a function of x. Every time we cannot forget this basic relation y is equal to f of x. But in this case, u is a function of x not only, but also this is a function of that is uh, y also. Therefore, here u is a function of more than one symbol. More than one symbol or uh, even two symbol uh, like uh, u is a function of x comma y comma z and so on. That means u is a function of like uh, x1, x2 and so on up to xn like this. The whole uh, topic of discussion in the differential calculus is categorized into function of single independent variable and function of more than one independent variable. Function of single independent variable produces ordinary derivatives and the equation we construct we using that derivative it is called ordinary differential equation. And the equation we develop using the uh, observation of this function which is uh, uh, taking more than one independent variable then it is called partial differential equation. Now what is uh, the order of the differential equation and what is the degree of the differential equation and how this uh, order and degree can be analyzed as uh, the fundamental part which is uh, uh, most required when we move on to the first method of sol solving by vari uh, variable separable. Okay. So, first of all let me write uh, the definition of uh, order. <coughs> Hope you can recall order of derivative that means differential equation it is the highest ordered, it is the highest ordered derivative appear in D that means in differential equation. Now, degree of differential equation, it is the degree it is the degree of the highest ordered derivative 
appear in differential equation. <clears throat> These two sentences if you do not understand, there is no point in studying the rest of the syllabus. That much I can tell you. This is order how we are going to define and degree how we are going to define. This is degree, this is order. That means these two words will play ma the major role in every situation. Like now I, I will write the example. First example that is uh, d cube y divided by dx square plus of sin x into that is otherwise simple equation you can take that is 2 times d square y divided by dx square plus 6 times dy by dx okay and plus of y this is equal to 0. You can analyze everything from this differential equation. Any equation you can guess uh, for that matter we have uh, differential equations according to Newton's law of cooling and chemical processing and electrical networks. In the electrical networks also we construct the differential equation of second order and first order. In the case of first order, one battery is fixed to the circuit, then we will see that the resulting differential equation is so constructed is called first order differential equation. When two batteries are fixed in the circuit, then we construct the differential equation which is of the second order. Then how to uh, design that uh, differential equation and how to solve in both the cases. That means so first order differential equation and second order differential equation that is in electrical system. In mechanical systems, mechanical vibrations you will get that is called spring mass system. There is a differential equation which we have to handle in the mechanical uh, uh, and related mechanical related branches. And in civil, for example, even including transportation engineering and uh, environmental in engineering and more importantly is uh, structural engineering. Structural engineering, if he is a good structural engineer, he must know the uh, uh, basics of mathematics 100% uh, 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 perfect. Otherwise, he can't uh, develop his own design uh, to give the steel design structure for any of the buildings. So like that differential equations are so constructed in every field of engineering depending on the situation of application. Okay. For example, this one. Now, now what I will do here, this I will mention as 3, this I will mention as 2 whole power, right. This I will mention as 5, for example. Okay. This is one sample. You observe that and one more I am going to write, one more I am going to write uh, based on this type. This is 1 and second 1 that is dy by dx whole to the power 2 plus of d square y divided by dx square plus of e to the power x plus cos y sorry cos x that is equal to 0. You observe here there are two simple differential equations where you can analyze uh, the order and degree very easily. So, this is the bracket with the power as 1. There are two derivatives, there are three derivatives. What is our definition? It is the highest ordered derivative appear in the differential equation. Highest ordered derivative, highest ordered derivative means uh, all of a sudden uh, the degree looks to be 3, but it is not 3. All of a sudden degree looks to be 5, but it is not 5. You have to choose first of all inside what is the highest ordered derivative based on that, highest ordered derivative based on that, what is its uh, power? What is its power means? This is the power that is 2. Therefore, here this one easily you can uh, explain the order of this is 3, order of this differential equation is equal to 3 and degree is equal to 2. You must be very careful uh, whenever uh, you are going to choose the differential equations with uh, order and uh, degree. Okay. Here, this is 3 whole to the power 2 
but order is 3 here. This is called highest order derivative. That means third order derivative. And this is second order derivative. It is uh, degree means uh, this one. It is the degree of highest ordered derivative. Highest ordered derivative. Highest ordered derivative means highest ordered derivative in our equation is d cube by divided by dx square. Its power, its degree, what it is? 2 but not 5 but not 3. Therefore, this is the order of differential equation. This is the degree of differential equation. And in the second equation, that is dy by dx whole square and d square y divided by dx square. This is to the power 1 is there. Even if nothing is given, then you have to understand, you have to assume that the whole power is equal to 1. Then this implies, <coughs> this implies second order, second order and first degree, second order and first degree, but it is not second degree. Here all of a sudden you will get confusion. This is uh, a degree looks to be 2, but it is not 2. It is the degree as 1. Therefore, second order and first degree. Therefore, this should be the analysis. No need of uh, uh, repeating such examples because uh, only a uh, few things uh, you can understand very easily with the depth of the meaning of these words, order and degree. Okay, These two words, order means first you choose highest order derivative. Degree you choose, first you choose highest order derivative, what is its degree? That is called order and degree of the differential equation. So now I will move on directly to uh, uh, construction of differential equation, afterwards solution of differential equation. Construction of differential equation is formation formation of ordinary differential equation. Your syllabus is not with this, but I am just giving the prerequisites to understand the immediate next topic. Only one sample I will be writing to, under, to clear uh, all the required definitions. So, formation of ODE. Now, I will take a simple example. Forum ODE by eliminating by eliminating the arbitrary constant. from any relation for differential equation is one which contains the derivatives. An equation is one which is free from derivatives that is called a solution. Now, if you take your familiar example y square is equal to 4a x, this is one example, okay. y is equal to c1 e to the power 2x plus c2 e to the power 3x. Like this, you can create so many examples. For example, x, x square divided by a square plus y square divided by b square is equal to 1 and so on. Any equation you assume and you have to identify which is uh, arbitrary constant and which is real constant, which is independent variable and which is dependent variable. The formation of ordinary differential equation depends on the number of times differentiation is to be taken e which is responsible for number of arbitrary constants appear in the equation. That is all. Now, for example, if I start taking this one, if I start taking uh, uh, y square equal to 4ax, let as I told you that this is y is dependent variable and x is independent variable a is arbitrary constant, 4 is real constant. You must be with this knowledge for any equation, you must analyze this much for any equation, which is arbitrary, which is real, which is independent, which is dependent. These uh, symbols, if you, if you analyze and if you write y is a function of how many quantities. For example, in this equation, if I take y is a function of x comma a comma 4, 
there are three symbols but both are constants but as a uh, customary otherwise uh, as a rule from the sets functions and relations as you studied in linear algebra then we represent this y is equal to f of x that means variable is related to variable constants they are understood because how many constants are there all those constants uh, we don't include within the brackets then this is y equal to f of x therefore it is a function of single independent variable i think in 12th class you have studied already uh, uh, one of the previous uh, discussions i had noticed uh, in your uh, 12th class or even at high school level itself for example in the set theory this is domain and this is range how we are going to represent the functional relation this one y equal to f of x right so here y1 y2 and so on here x1 x2 and so on that means there are two reference regions uh, from one region to another region we have to make a link what is that link we have to make a connectivity between two variables so this is one variable for example y1 then i'll make the connection but there is no person who takes the message from this to supply the message to x1 that means we need some mediator that mediator is nothing but mapping this is called f that f is nothing but mediator f takes the information from y1 and gives the information to x1 similarly vice versa takes the information from x1 and gives the information to y1 so if you represent the arrow mark like this this is your relation y equal to fx right if you uh, read from this side to that side that is functional relation now in this case x is independent variable and y is dependent variable therefore why this is independent and dependent because x takes its own value where y depends on it x takes its own value where y depends on it so that is called uh, independent and dependent variables so this is a mediator then we will represent y1 equal to f of x1 similarly as, uh, through the same f y2 is equal to f of x2 but inside all are with uh, one symbol only one symbol is connected with one symbol then it is called one to one mapping one to one correspondence one to one link one to one reference this is all explained in set theory the, even it starts from your uh, 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 I, th I think uh, uh, primary middle school that is the set theory where uh, it was introduced there itself nowadays of course basics of mathematics will start what you are going to understand about the set theory functions and relations will start from your uh, lower level class syllabus uh, itself okay so now this is uh, uh, clarity about uh, independent variable and dependent variable okay so now what i'll do here after uh, analyzing uh, a as the arbitrary constant then formation of differential equation okay depends on number of times differentiation uh, equal to number of arbitrary constants appear how many constants are the arb arbitrary one is there okay here one arbitrary constant a is appeared is appeared then the order of the derivative then the order of the derivative is one order of the derivative is one means it includes so much of meaning you are not allowed to differentiate more than one time that should be the first order derivative within that only you try to eliminate a that i will show now so this is nothing but differentiating with respect to x what is that 2y dy by dx right it is equal to <coughs> 4a into 1 okay differentiating with respect to x differentiating uh, y with respect to x means y square gives 2y and y inside differentiation is dy by dx and 4a 
that is 4a and x differentiation is 1. Okay. So, you can cancel by 2 here and uh, dy by dx right uh, that is y into and a here that is y divided by 2 is equal to a. You have to collect the value of a. Then substitute this value of a in the given equation so that a is eliminated and you will see that the formation of differential equation. So, that I will write now. This is the equation replacing the value of a because our goal is to eliminate a. I had taken the value of a in terms of derivative. Now, y square is equal to 4 into in place of a, I will substitute this y by 2, it is dy by dx okay, multiplied by x, right. This is 2, this is 2 and 1 y cancels and finally, you are getting y is equal to x into that is 2x into it is dy by dx. You take the cross multiplication y dx is equal to 2x, it is dy, y dx is equal to 2x dy. That means, I have taken the derivative for cross multiplication. <coughs> now, if you write uh, all terms to one side, y dx plus minus of, because you are taking this term to other side, 2x, it is dy is equal to 0. This is your formation of differentially ordinary differential equation by the elimination of arbitrary constant. This arbitrary constant is a. a is not there, but a is there. This is the solution of this differential equation. This is the differential equation of that solution. You remember one thing, differential equation is 1 in the presence of derivatives in the absence of arbitrary constant. Solution is 1 in the absence of derivative, but in the presence of arbitrary constants, if initial conditions are not given. If initial conditions are given, then we will write particular values of those constants. So, this is what uh, the most fundamental till here whatever I discussed, you understand in depth before I move on to the first topic of your syllabus today. That means, separation of variables. This is about construction of the differential equation. So, now separation of variables that means uh, solving the differential equation. This example itself I will take and other standard problems I will write later. Okay? Now, when this is given to you, you have constructed a differential equation. Now, you think in a reverse direction. When this is given to you, remove the derivative. That means it is called solution. Now, I will write that solution. Uh, the first uh, topic on uh, uh, solution of differential equation is nothing but method of separation of variables. Solution of ODE. It is the expression, it is the expression consists of consists of variables. This includes both uh, ordinary, uh, sorry, independent and dependent variables uh, with arbitrary constants, arbitrary constants. This is the only sentence you must remember. A solution is one, uh, is nothing but an equation as you have, as you have seen that uh, y square is equal to 4ax. In that arbitrary constant is there, real constant is there, independent variable is there and dependent variable is there. All the three are there. Then it is the expression consists of variables with uh, arbitrary constants. Exactly according to this, now for the next 10 lectures, I will be doing uh, with the same meaning okay, as solution part of this differential equation. Okay. Now, what is the method of separation of variables? Separation of variables. Consider, 
consider <coughs> the ordinary differential equation as m x comma y dx plus n x comma <coughs> y dy equal to 0. Different authors explain in a different way, but uh, even the same equation can be written as dy by dx is equal to if you rearrange that is also correct. If you write like this, this is also correct. If you write like this, only this part left side and this part right side that is also correct. But what are the coefficients of dx and what are the coefficients of dy and we have to analyze separation of variables takes the meaning. We have to group the variables of x in one position and variables of y along with its derivative in the second position and then you do the integration that is your solution that is called method of separation of variable. This is the most fundamental method which will support for all the forthcoming methods. Without this we cannot study the forth and future methods. With this if you understand the uh, utilization of this step then only you will become so perfect of handling homogeneous exact Bernoulli's uh, even uh, uh, linear differential equation and uh, linear differential equation with uh, uh, operator as capital D and then method of undetermined coefficients and variation of parameters. So all these cases you will discuss but everywhere separation of variables will play the major role. So that you have to understand some problems I will solve. I will make you familiarize of uh, how this uh, equation can be constructed and how it is to be rearranged and what is the method of solving. Okay. Only one sentence I will write here for your understanding. Separation of variables, it needs, it needs the grouping, it needs the grouping of variables of x and y separately, separately then integration integration gives the solution integration gives the solution this is the only sentence you have to understand in depth you go to gravel textbook you go to renville philippi badian textbook you go to hk das you go to jain and Iyengar textbook you go to any textbook of course the complete meaning of this title that is separation of variables needs we have to group x terms in one side along with the dx and y terms in another side along with dy. Then we will put integration to both because it is a first order derivative in the initially I had mentioned because according to your syllabus first order derivative is there then uh, uh, it will be uh, integrated only once not more than that because first order. First order derivative is to be eliminated means only one time you have to integrate. Okay. How, you, how did you get first order? Getting first order derivative means once differentiation. How, how you will get the solution from this existing uh, first order? Only once integration, right? Once integration takes one arbitrary constant. That means, sorry, constant of integration that is called arbitrary constant. And uh, if it is second order differential equation, still it is beyond our boundary. Uh, of our discussion because uh, in the in another topic uh, we are going to discuss that. <coughs> now, so this is very important, this sentence is very important if you understand. Now exactly according to this I will write the standard problems, now I will start the first problem for your syllabus. solve, uh, maybe general heading you can take solve the following ODEs, solve the following ordinary differential equations that is ODEs, right. First problem solve. <coughs>
dy by dx. Let me take a simple example dy by dx is equal to e to the power x plus y. I will start with uh, two elementary problem <coughs> that is dy by dx is equal to e to the power x plus y. Now, how we are going to accept this is a differential equation. It should be a differential equation because it is a first order differential coefficient is there and no arbitrary constant is there. Okay. Arbitrary constant absence means it is a differential equation. Therefore, then we have to write in the solution looking to this sentence grouping the variables of x and y separately then integration. So, now it is not grouped it is in the mixed form mixed form means x plus y is there right. Let me take the differential equation dy by dx this is a simple case e to the power x plus y <coughs> is equal to e to the power x into e to the power y. What is this actually e to the power of x into e to the power y? That means base is same powers can be separated, but here base is same powers are added. But from the added position I have taken the separate position that means e to the power of x I require separately and e to the power y I require separately. Therefore, uh, dy by dx can be explained e to the power of x into e to the power y. Therefore, what is the separation of variables means grouping the uh, terms grouping the terms means dy must involve only the terms of y and dx must involve only the terms of x. It is very easily possible from this simple differential equation. Okay. Let me start the next step. What is that? dy is equal to e to the power x into e to the power y it is dx. I hope you are following this right. I have taken this dx to be cross multiplied dy is equal to e to the power of x into e to the power y into dx is there. Now, I have to release because e to the power of x if I retain here then I have to retain dx here okay. and then I have to shift this e to the power y to the left side because I cannot bring that uh, uh, dy to the denominator and dx to the denominator because the differential equation must be uh, studied in this fashion that is m dx plus n dy is equal to 0 not necessarily it is for my convenience I am taking like uh, what are the coefficients of dx and what are the coefficients of dy. Then you can easily analyze these coefficients are free from y and these coefficients are free from x. So, now easily you can separate uh, this equation. So, dy is there I will shift this uh, dy by dividing this e to the power y it will come in the left side as denominator and e to the power of x into dx. Still it is not in the ready form for integration right. What is the next step? You have to take this e to the power y to the left side therefore e to the power of x uh, dx and equal to e to the power minus y it is dy correct huh? then e to the power of x dx minus e to the power minus y it is dy equal to 0 is your is your separated variables it needs the grouping of variables x and y separately you can see that this is completely free from x I will mention this this one this one you can see that this is uh, terms of x I can say terms of x and another one this is terms of y terms of y this is very comfortable uh, uh, fundamental mathematics where you can uh, easily uh, reproduce uh, the steps and you can write the solution now quickly uh, that is integrating on both sides e to the power x dx minus integration e to the power minus y dy is equal to integration 0 that is all and this is e to the power of x integration is same 
and e to the power minus y integration is e to the power minus y divided by minus 1 and this is e to the power minus y and this is equal to constant. This is your final solution. This is the end of the solution. So, if you understand the concept what I used here, it will be same principle any number of problems if I solve, any number of problems. Understand the depth of the meaning here. This is grouping of x, this is grouping of y. Since you are from lateral entry, you do require uh, the prerequisites of this one uh, with uh, more uh, perfection. Go through this one. I would like to stop up to here, then I shall continue. Now, you can analyze uh, all the steps whatever we have discussed with you. Thank you.